So what do you think about this situation? What should happen to the mom for basically allowing this child predation? Well, for me, what I would say to her, if, if she were to contact me, you know, I would be able to pray. No, no, no. Let's say you're the judge. Let's say you're the judge. And right. there's no laws. You are the law. What? And she's been arrested on felony charges. Now you have to sentence her. It could be probation. It could be a fine. It could be jail. It could be prison. It could be community service. It could be nothing. You could let her walk. You're the judge. What do you do in this situation? If I were the judge, um, I would, I would have to, I would want to send her. I would, I would have to give her for the first time. I would have to, I would give her some mercy and an opportunity to see exactly what has happened to her. Um, I would give her an opportunity to, I would send her to a place like me. I would send her to a ministry. I would give her an, I would show her grace in this. I really, really would show her grace. Let me ask you this. Let me, let me, ask, you, let me, let me ask you this. All right, yeah. You would show her grace. I would what if, her. what if a man allowed your son to be sexually a mess or sexually molested. What if a man allowed your infant or your your six year old son to be sexually molested multiple times? A grown man, would you show him that same grace? I'm not saying that I would not be angry. I'm not saying I wouldn't be angry, TLA, with this woman. I'm not saying I wouldn't be angry with the man. That's just a natural response. But because I've been in the ministry over 30 years and I know what I know relative to angels and demons and God and the devil, and I've been studying so long, because I know the source of why they're doing what they're doing, I would I would still have to show some sense of mercy. Okay, I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. Even if I sent her to jail, all right, even if even if I sent her to jail for six months or a year, I would make sure that. And that gentleman also, I would, and, and, and I've been in ministry over 30 years. So, you know, I've sat down with people who have done this and I've ministered to people who have done these things, right. As a pastor, I would, I would still send them to jail, but I would try to send in someone like me to minister to them. So you would send them to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But let me say this, let me say this. And this is very important, right? When, when we were talking about the woman you said that you would show grace and send her to someone like you. When we talked yeah. about the man, then you brought up jail time and yeah. sending us. No, no, no. Yeah. I said to the woman, to the woman also, I had to digress. I said to the woman, because you know, sometimes when, when we you brought up the man, then the jail came out. Because when we brought up the woman, you were like, oh, I need to show her grace and grace and grace. And then when Jerome came out, it was, oh, well, we're going to do jail, but also we're going to have her talk to someone like me. Did you notice that? No, bit? no, no. Well, you know what? When you ask a question, uh -huh. you, sometimes you, you have to think through, you have to think through the question. Okay. You know, you can't just say, okay, well, such and such and such. But no, you're absolutely right. But in thinking through the question as I'm speaking, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to now really dissect both situations, both. So, so, I mean, listen, I love, I love male and female. I minister to everybody, but you know, as a woman, a, a woman, a man is stronger in my mind. A, a man would be able to don't look at me like that. Oh too. my God. <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, no, no. I'm just saying I'm a, I'm a woman. I'm a I'm a real woman, okay? I'm a real I'm a real one. So, you know, for me to go to jail, I don't know if I'd be strong enough, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm just saying Wait, wait, okay. So you, saying, you, wait, you're right, you're right. Like women, men and women are different. Yeah. Men are stronger than women generally. There are some right. strong women, but generally, right? Right. So a woman might not necessarily be strong enough to go to jail, but a man is different, right? Right, right. So that's so when I when I talk about grace, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm th I'm thinking about the delicacy of being a woman, you know. But for me, I would show both of them grace. Um, I don't know that jail would be. I don't know that jail would be the end all, just to put them away. But I'm saying if if 
that is because I'm not a judge. I really, I really don't know. It's I really don't know until I was really put in that situation. But just off the top, I know I would show both of them grace. But whether I put the woman in jail or the man in jail or sent the woman to a home, because because as women, I love my sisters <laughs> and I love okay. them. Okay. I just, I just can't. I, I, w- I wouldn't want any woman to be in jail. I wouldn't want any woman to be in jail for what any. About the man? I wouldn't want the man in jail either. But I'm just saying, the man is strong. You guys are strong. You guys. Oh are... my God! Are y'all hearing? <laughs> you know yeah. I love you. You know I love your empire. But you, man, come on. No, I'm just saying. In this situation, I don't know that putting someone away would um... putting a woman away. Putting yes, yeah, putting... Jerome can go away. No, 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 no. I wouldn't really want to put Jerome away either. I really Jail don't. time only came up when we talked about Jerome. Well, I'm saying if I were a judge, I wouldn't want to, let me say this. I wouldn't want anybody to go to, to jail because I don't think that putting jail in this specific situation would do anything because it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual warfare. So putting them in jail, just like you said, the gentleman that they put that that they put in jail, you said he came right back out. But he said you said he had a tuber and he started thinking about the children again. So for me, putting someone in jail, you know, would not stop the behavior because it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. I wouldn't want anybody to go to jail. No one. However, I would want that person in a place where I could minister I'll to be him. honest, Bar. It, I'll be honest, Empire. It's hard to come back from the whole. <laughs> no, women, no, no. Wait, wait. It's hard to come back from when men are stronger than women. So men can, can tolerate jail and women can't. That's hard. That's hard for a man to hear. Okay. Because I'm, it seems like, wait, wait, wait. wait let me, uh, you know, I'll let you talk, but let me just say something for a second. Mm-hmm. It seems like women in 2022 want equality. It mm-hmm. seems like they want equality. But when jail time comes up, you you hear this thing, well, you know, a woman is weak. A, a woman is not as strong as a man. A man can endure jail. And women are weaker, so women are not really equal. Women can't endure jail. Women should be, what did you say? You are sent to a home, right? Sent to a home, sent to get some therapy. While men are in jail and prison. That's, that's hard for a man to hear. I'm only talking about this specific situation. This specific this situation, though, your your ideal translates to to, to all of, of society. Like, it, you're, you're, when you say that men are stronger, so men can go to jail, that's not just necessarily about this situation. Well, when you ask me what about jail, when you ask me what about jail, in my mind, I'm like, okay, what about jail? I had to choose. You know, in my mind, men are very strong. They're men of valor. You're doubling down. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I respect you so much, man. I can't even go in on you, Empire. But, damn, like, this is is fucked up. No, this.